group of Texas Tech students learned what it's like to be blind. KMAX Nicolette Perdomo was with them for today's exercise and shows us how this will help them become better teachers. Heather Withrow, a student in the Sowell Center's Orientation and Mobility Program, put on her blindfold. People are on the bus or on a, on, in a car, they drive by, they see a person with a cane, and they're like, oh, what's that? You know, so it just brings awareness. But Withrow's obstacles were a bit more challenging. I am a deaf person, so I am really paying attention uh, to what's going on. The activity showed her what it's like to maneuver the city without two of her senses. My youngest son, who was born deafblind, um, he has a totally different way of developing, and his movement is super important. When you are blind and deaf or hard of hearing, you have two senses that now you don't have use of. The simulation included blindfolds and white canes, using these while walking through intersections, around businesses, and using public transportation. We set up before we even start the training. Uh, she told us what she would like us to signal for her. Withrow wants people to understand the type of world she lives in. It's physical, um, emotional, disability, um, just the more visual, the more that we see these things, the more comfortable we, we become as a community. Nicolette Perdomo, KMAC News.